We are live, live, live. The Addy Bailey is live. Live in the kitchen, we're live with the cooking. We come on, the Addy Bailey is live. The Addy Bailey TV live. We are cooking, cooking, cooking. The Addy Bailey is cooking. We cooking in the morning with. Cooking in the evening, we're cooking, cooking, cooking. Yada Bella is cooking. Yada Bella TV is. Yeah, no. All right. So, guys, this is as usual, an impromptu live. You guys already know the deal. This is not a scheduled live day. So, we're not gonna itch. It's not about the the talking and the thing we're doing the thing the cooking thing so let me show you what's going on we have a pot here with a cinnamon stick a cinnamon leaf and three pods of cardamom yes and if you guys ever smell the aroma of the cinnamon boiling it's so medicinal right now anyway so that is the the pot for that and while it boils i'm gonna come over here and show you guys what i'm using to make porridge of the day mm -hmm. it's bulgur wheat yes guys it's gonna be fiber overload today mm -hmm. it's bulgur wheat and um rolled oats so this is old-fashioned rolled oats and we are going to combine these two to make porridge right so if you're a porridge lover and you're tired of having the same either the same old plain oatmeal or the cornmeal or whatever other porridge you normally make this is a twist for you guys. Good morning to you, Tocklin Morris. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so what I like to do, or what I have to do based on the texture that I'm going for, I always go in and um, kind of um, blend the bulgur or grind the bulgur. Pretty much, because I said blend, no grinding. It's in not, that it's house. not blending. But no grinding. Because I don't do it with water. I just actually just it's ground. Uh, A ground. Ground different from grind. All right. No, so tell it from now. Something. I'm doing something. They'll see what I'm doing. All right. So I have a measuring cup here because I'm trying to be. Um, more detail with the cooking measurements for you guys so we have a half cup of the bulgur i'm gonna pour it in my um, nutri bullet cover that up mm -hmm. and i'm just going to try to get it to get more refined good morning pink diamond so turn the blender on a low denomination. <laughs> if you can. Start by pulsing. It's too low. and then you allow it to don't Hold on. don't just open it is you, are you your tutorial or me oh sorry go ahead okay you see how she treat me guys <laughs> me just i make on the nose she treating me so bad in here you're treating me like animal. beverly chambers good morning to you you're treating me like animal You know, you don't have no sense, right? <laughs> it's all right. So let's check the consistency to see if it, it, it is fine enough. So for those who just joining us, she uh, she is using bulgur wheat 
and black, black. this is how boga comes in the store um it's called black I think, the brand I think it's black. a Haitian, um, oh, it's a Creole word. Oh, so okay. Bulgar, Bulgar, um, and then she she just pulls it in the blender. That's good. Yeah, to get it, um, you know, to that stage. You know, you could have put rice too, and do the same thing with the rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pulse the rice, don't you guys? You know, I don't like rice porridge though. All right, what is All that right, you're so doing now? so this is the rolled oats, and I'm going to go in with about three quarter cups of that. Mm-hmm. Three quarter cups of that and I'm adding it to the same um bulgur wheat right there. I hope it's too much. Cover him up because we're gonna do the same thing. We're trying to get it um mm -hmm. more refined. Right, 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 right. Now mark you many people not everybody do their their there's this way so she's just showing you a way in which you can do it to get it a little bit more refined a little bit more smoother right carla patterson good morning yeah most people make their oatmeal as is mm -hmm. but i don't like the it's too lumpy. yeah so i like Yes, sir. Should I have gone with that foolishness, guys? Like a car, should I drive? I think this is good. Yeah. And guys, you can't even make oat flour with your oatmeal, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. And you can also make oat milk. Oat milk, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh la la. Get in it, get in it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I'm zooming. All right, so this is... Um... So guys, let me know what kind of porridge you guys like, you know, because, you know, porridge war is about to start because I don't, I don't mind the different porridges. I just know that the toppings, you know. It's not too much. Why you always try to make less of the nice things and more of the taste bad things? Whatever. And then tell them what you just did. I just added water to it because it's always better to you can't hold on your hand it's always better to add your your um dry porridge ingredients no it's, it's always better to not add the to mix your ingredients right, um in water dry. first because do you guys do the same thing we need to know it tends you to know get lumpy if you know. have a special method Cornmeal with the real coconut milk. Beverly Chambers says that's her porridge. Cornmeal porridge with the real coconut milk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of dry so, spot at the back. I'm going to blend it again. How do oh. you spruce up your cornmeal, though? Other than just the plain old cornmeal. Do you put sweet corn in there sometimes? What do you do? What do you tap your porridge with? Do you put crackers or hard dough bread? Hard dough bread? Yeah. You know, you may say, we now do that again. That is back in the day. It's ghetto. It's not ghetto. It's ghetto. It's not ghetto. We have to use, okay. like, nice so things. some nutmeg. Now, let me ask you, why are you putting nutmeg at this time? Because see, I it's find... See, the whole I, of nutmeg coming yeah, out there. See, I find that if you cook it with it, the spice, you know, kind of permeate in the entire porridge while it's cooking, as opposed to at the end. Why not put the, 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 the grater... Fl right. Bra Bondi. you see it? Bra I tell you. <laughs> no man. It them said them said two is better than one. May I tell you? Two is better than one. And a three four card is not really broken. Two right. is better than one. So we are in that. Guys, if your resolution is not clear, go ahead, hit those three buttons to the side and change whatever resolution Setting. it's on to 720p. Joshua taught, taught us that recently. Because looking at it now, ours need to be adjusted. And if it's the first time you're watching us, remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. One. This is what you're putting in now. Uh, some vanilla. Two. Vanilla. And a sprinkle of my Ceylon cinnamon. So guys, she's somewhat spicing the porridge, but not seasoning it. 
well, seasoning, but not um, sweetening, rather. Right. Tanya Johnson, good morning Tanya. to you. The wife is making bulgur porridge with all these ingredients. I'm putting a tad bit of, I don't know if you guys put a tad bit of salt in your porridge, but it makes a world of difference. And again, this is an impromptu live, guys. Our schedule live is... Um, our, our schedule live is on Thursday mornings at 10, but we're just going hard this week because the wife is on a health tip. <laughs> I think you want water. Because okay. it'll get tick up. Tick up, tick up. Yeah, but that one water, man. No, you see, let me tell you something, guys. Between me yeah, and one, between me and one, I'm telling the truth. She loves tick up things. <laughs> our porridge tick. That's what I'm like. Our smoothie tick. Eh? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Wait, say that again. And see there? That look good. Is no, don't worry about that part. They pour the porridge and then what you can do is add water. Can you remember say I gonna need a little more like Come extra around. water? No man, no, no, no. Just go and I do it. Them soon get it. The process. Tanya, you need a good sugar substitute. Let me give you one. Agave. Agave fruit. Agave fruit. Agave fruit. Let me give you one. Agave. Agave fruit is a good one, Tanya. All right, it is not, it is natural. It is, um, agave fruit is something like a, like the cactus, um, and that can that that is a very good sugar, um, substitute. Should I put dates in this? All right, you can put dates still, you can put dates still. Dates is another good sugar substitute, however, dates will come, um, that you have to process it, meaning blend it out and, and thing. You can see, see, take your time with the stirring now, please, and stop splash up the thing. M listen, you, listen. You, there's not one splash on the I am table. seeing splash. Guys, don't you guys are seeing there splash? No, no, they're gonna one. support me this time. They're gonna support me because you have stir the porridge like say, I wait me and they are stir cement. <laughs> All right, dates is a very good one. However, you have to either blend it in your, in your um, juices or you can soak the dates overnight in water. Like for instance, you just put a, a, a say five or six dates in um, a jug of water in a gallon of water. No, not gallon. Probably like a pint of water. And by the next day, you will get sugar water. It will be super sweet, and you can use it to flavor whatever. That's that's one. The other one that is a good substitute is coconut sugar, and coconut sugar is available on the market. You can get it at Aldi. Coconut sugar is low glycemic. That means it's not really trouble if you have diabetes or them, something there. Um, you know, and so that's another good one if you can't do without the bowl, the bowl of sugar. All right, so those are some of the, the ones that I'm telling you about. Um, so agave is the most sweet, sweet one because it's, it's almost, it comes like a syrup. And then from the agave, you have the dates, which is... 100% good. Dates also helps with your stomach. In terms of digestion problems, digesting food, dates does help you. Um, and then coconut sugar is, again, another one, and it's low glycemic. It does, to show you how coconut sugar is less sweet than regular sugar, to, it would take more, sh more coconut sugar to sweeten something, the same amount of stuff that you take, two, say, say for instance, two tablespoons of sugar would sweeten something. You're going to need maybe four tablespoons of coconut sugar to sweeten the same thing. So it's a little bit less sweet. All right. So let's get so into the pot. Agave only comes in liquid form, right? Agave comes as a, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure, you know. I need to check that out. But Agave sugar. So, oh, your hand dirty. Oh, your hand dirty up. Guys, let me tell you something. You can't speak English. Oh, oh your hand dirty up. So. Oh, you and them dirty up, sir. How come you and them dirty up? All right, keep spinning it because I need to get the milk now. Spinning in the... I think it's too high. I think you need to turn the stove down. It's on medium. You know? Because bulgur takes a little time to cook, but, but um, oatmeal cook almost immediately. 
So you have to turn it down and then put more water. Date sugar. Stir, stirring fast, but I don't see no splashing. Pink diamond, stop support her, no man. No splashing. Pink diamond, stop support her. That may I tell you. You understand? Where Kim Kim, come and say Kim Kim out there by my side. <laughs> you see me? What? See, look up, look on this decent stirring. Look, you know, say it takes very, very professional skill to stir the porridge this, this decent way. Look there. And this is the coconut milk that she's adding now. Look at that. No splashing. Put more coconut milk. Uh, the, babe. The bulgur need more babe. juice to cook. Give me my stick. It's not stick, it's a spoon. <laughs> you never hear about gradual adding. There's no it gradual. Makes a difference. Nothing. You incorporate it. Annie um, King says there is date sugar. Um, oh, for real? I, I've never seen date sugar, but I know it, it does exist because it's simply processing the date. Um, but as I said, you, I prefer the, the raw date, the dates as the fruit because it's more versatile. You can just throw it in a smoothie, um, take out a couple and throw them in a smoothie. Or if you want the sugar, the water or sugar water, you can just pop, pop the dates in, the, in it overnight and you get sugar water, mm -hmm. you know, and then you can eat it as a fruit too. You know, so once the process, once the the, 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 the the produce has been processed, you sort of lose things along the way, you know. But as I said, guys, you have options, you know. You need more milk. I told you. I told, just, just finish all of the coconut milk there. Come on. Come what, on. that one long? Mm-hmm. Come and, out from among them. And be he separated. <laughs> so what else are you putting in there? You put a little butter? No. Look little coconut oil? It's vegan. You put a little coconut oil? We don't have any. We have coconut oil. I wanted a girl yeah. No. Guys, okay, this one may I show you? It's a coconut oil here. Let me see what else can go in it. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, I mean, um, King said she gets it from the bulk store. The, the date, the date, coconut, the date sugar. What's the bulk store? The store where you buy bulk things like um, Costco or, or Walmart or any store like that. But does I put your feet warm up? So let me ask you a question now. Why bulga? What, what is there, you know, the health benefits of bulga? How comes? I'm just in it for the fiber. Nah, 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 nah. I'm after, it You fiber. have to tell me what the health benefits are. Like, tell me if it give me riboflavin or it have um, pronunciation. Whether it's something. This thing has 13 grams of fiber. It has 8 grams of protein. So if you want to go meat, let's say, and still want to make sure that you get your protein in, and you know, fiber is good for the, the, the digestive system. The digestive system. So yeah, and it has calcium. It has iron, fifteen percent iron. So you know, it is. Very what what wait, 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 any butter? Yes, please. Yeah. All right. So, in the meantime, in between in time, meantime. you know, you got to tidy up your area. That is key. Tidy Cleansiness is tidy next to godliness. Is to tidy, tidy up your space. space. See, tidy up your space. Yay! My Robert Forbes. Good morning to you. Good morning. So all of owners, I do not know. I could not say. I am not the mother of the honey butter. And guys, I am in the the habit of why does the, the, the sales paper come up the name of the thing? This is almond flavor. These little essence. When you add them to porridge, you guys, I have this one, and sometimes I use the the anise. Mm -hmm. Guys, 
that takes your porridge to another, level. To another dimension. Yes, exactly. Not even level. It's out of this world. So, yeah, you have to, you know, make sure you add spices when you can. Mm -hmm. What about this spice? You're not this is what now? Honey butter, so you, yeah. don't put, you can put this? Yeah, it's, it's honey. Mm. Honey butter, you guys. So, I'm going to put a tad bit of that. He's in the habit. I'm not really one to put butter in porridge. You can put a little bit. I know you can. I'm just or saying. coconut oil. I'm just saying that I don't. Yeah. I've had three of these in the, the water boiling for flavor. Cardamom. Oh, guys, it's all about spices. I mean, we grew up learning how to make porridge one way, but there are a million different ways that you can yeah. turn. The more you, the more you explore other cultures, is the more you will see you know, some of the unique ways in which you can um, flavor your porridge. Uh -huh. Robert, we're making this. We're making bulga, bulga oatmeal, oatmeal porridge. Bulga wheat oatmeal porridge is what we're making. Good morning, family first. Good morning to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And guys, let me just tell you, porridge is not, not my first choice for breakfast this morning. What is it? My, my choice for breakfast this morning was actually um, very healthy. It is called mackerel and rice. <laughs> wow. Wow. So tom tomorrow, Thursday? Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna make something real because he's been begging for real food. No, you're not getting nothing real tomorrow. Are you serious? May I leave? May I go my mother yard from tonight? <laughs> And guys, for those of you who have not yet heard about, um, hold on, I'm going to play, he's coming back. <laughs> and guys, in March, I will be, be starting on a, on a radio in New York City. So if you're in New York City, remember guys, I'm going to be on 93.5 FM HD Caribbean Radio uh, every Monday, starting from 7 till nine yes guys for those of you that have not yet done your reset for 2021 yeah it's a new year usually people try to reset their their system after you know eating all of those nice delicious foods over the holidays you know they will try to you know see if they can detox somewhat so we want to introduce you guys to this product here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It's one called... more like, Jeez, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since that's the focal point, <laughs> let me put the thing against your hand. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's called Green Valley. Yes, and it is a one-day detox. And we became um, aware of this product because he bought the product. And it worked like magic it was amazing it was instantaneous the results you know it, it lived up to the claims uh, that the the makers had you know for how it's supposed to work it worked like magic so yeah he collaborated with them and he is now you know one of the distributors of the product and you can definitely get this if you want just to cleanse the bowels, cleanse, you know, help to clean the organs and to just get back on a healthy regimen and yeah, overall wellness. And the ingredients are all natural, you guys. That's what sold us on um, this product because some of these Cleanse cleanses, us. they are not all natural and they actually, you know, make the, the, the stomach feels mm -hmm. uncomfortable when you take them. So this one definitely doesn't do that. The ingredients are water, moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, sourcep leaf, um, guinea hen uh, weed, jack in the bush. <laughs> Why are you keep laughing at that? Boy, I don't know what jack in the bush is, but I know it's, it's, it's a medicine. weed. It's a herb in Jamaica. Okay, jack in the bush, inflammation weed. Uh, leaf of life. We all know leaf of life. No, we don't. It's guys, uh, a lot of people don't know leaf a of lot, life. You guys don't know leaf of life? We, well, I grew up um, with it being grown in my yard. And then every time we get a cold, my dad would boil it and give us to drink because it, it, it is good for that. 
So it has that. It has aloe vera. And we all know the benefits of aloe vera, do we? Yeah, it, it makes it very, feel very aloe. <laughs> and it cleanses the skin and everything. And tuna, garlic, vervain, um, star and, of anise, which is the same spice I was just telling them about. And vervain is good because vervain helps to eliminate mucus from your body. So your lungs and those areas, and this is proven. If you go on Google and, and, and um, you know, search for blue vervain, mm -hmm. you will see um, that it does. Uh, guys, let me tell you something. And this, I, I like to be straightforward. A lot of us are going around. I have, I have a punch, right? Mm -hmm. My stomach, you know, uh, I'm working on it, trying my best. Um, However, sometimes you feel like you're not getting anywhere because you're, you're doing as much as you can, but the, the belly just still in front of you. It just still stand up there. A lot of times it's because you are so compacted. It's like you have to eat, but the amount of elimination is not following the pattern of the eating. So you eat five times and you go one time. That in itself is called constipation. And many of us are struggling with that, but we dare not tell anybody or we keep it to ourselves. Let me tell you something. This product helps to eliminate that cycle, break that cycle. And so you're supposed to really and truly go every four hours after you eat. That's the nominal best way. It's not so much what you eat, even though what you eat is important. It's not so much what you eat as the amount of times that you eliminate. And so most people have that struggle. They are not getting rid of what they eat fast enough. And so old food stay in the body and new food comes sit on top of it. And if you, let me just tell you straight up, guys. If you are in the restroom and you're straining, you are compacted. You are, you are um, constipated. If you go less than the amount of times prescribed that you eat, you are constipated. If you have tough stomach but it's still protruding you know and there is not a, a particular medical issue associated with that you are constipated all of these things can be eliminated by periodically doing what is called a detox and it's recommended that you do one of these every 30 days every 30 days you do one of this now what my experience is it removes the compactedness and frees up your, your intestine walls from the top to the bottom, from the, the upper to the lower, from the greater to the smaller. It frees you up. And after this, you can start now on a reboot. Because you know what? If you are, if you are so compacted that you, you eat banana and okra and all of these things and you still cannot go, you are compacted. Some people will take one of this. And they are elim they eliminate it means immediately. But some people require maybe two, maybe three, because of how compacted they are. So, guys, whatever is good, I try to, to utilize for myself because I'm into longevity. And if it is good for me, I'm going to send it on to the people them who I know. And I've, I've had so many people contact me over the, the, this past week for this product. Again, it's a personal product. It is a personal decision. It's not something where you want to advertise. But some people they talk about their, their situation. I have testimonies on Instagram, um, you know, about you know how good this is. One person said it's like the floodgates open. <laughs> That's what one person said. So as I said, guys, blessings to you all. Contact me, DM me. My email is in the description box. Find me and you can get this. All right. Just and, and, you know, shipping and all of that, you know, we work on all of that. I can also recommend that if you go to greenvalleycleanser.com, you find it on it. But my prices are comparable to that. And also, you'll be supporting the channel, the you know. The shipping is, my, cheap, my shipping is a little bit cheaper because I'm trying to work with people. Once you're in the U.S., the shipping is included in the cost. And if you're outside of the U.S., we we'll work on it. We get it done. Guys check it out for yourself this is not a joke thing this is the green valley cleanser one day detox all right and it have jack in the bush i wait for you living he loved me dying he saved me buried he carried my sins far away rising he justified Freely forever, one day is coming, oh glorious day. Yeah, man. 
So guys, we are here to love on you and we want you to love on us. Big up on yourself. As I said before, remember to like, share, subscribe to this channel. We are almost at 90,000 subscribers. Guys, we are going towards the 100,000 subscriber mark and God will help us to get there and you are all a part of the journey. Remember, me tell you, guys, between me and you, try, try. Robert Fobbs, um, let me see where well, the planet. Family first. Is family first. Prayer kid. Good morning, prayer kid. Prayer kid. Your thing is underway. <laughs> Guys, let me show you something. And this is only for the guys. This is only for the guys. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this. Guys, you think it's a good go so we're not going to let you know? Are you away from him? I can do all of this something so you can see they don't believe me. Give me the chance I can do make you see. I think it's a good one. Alright, so now I'm going to do a bit more nutmeg. Because I think it's pretty much at the end, right? So we can stir it? Yeah. A little bit more cinnamon. Blessings to you, Carla Patterson. Carla says she is right about the constipation issues because her son is a truck driver and his stomach is huge. And guys, let me tell you something. That's part of what happens when you live on the road and you have to eat at these fast food places and you don't get a lot of exercise you spend more than eight hours driving most of the time you see if you don't purposely try to exercise that's what happens this is almond flavors from mccormick mm -mm, it smells like almond just a couple drops i wonder if i could have put it in a regular cow's milk and it turned almond milk <laughs> <laughs> but guys one let me tell you another thing that i want to recommend guys and this is supposed to be one of them sit down talking guys don't the porridge want little water the no, porridge want little I'm, more more I'm milk man milk. i'm gonna add the milk Put this. Okay, yeah this is some this of is the, literally honey yeah it's honey with a little bit of butter in it mm. it's supposed to be used on like like you know, Take desserts and them type of thing there. Eh? And them something there. Eh? Guys, if, if anybody on my channel out there that drink cow's milk, I would recommend that you cease and desist immediately. All right? Cease and desist immediately. I was listening to a post yesterday. This is almond milk. And one of the things that was recommended on, on the post was that African Americans or black people in general, almost 85% of them are lactose intolerant. Yes, you may not run to the bathroom after you drink dairy, milk. However, it has still has adverse effects on effects on your effects on your system, on your on your body. Um, one of the reasons why our bodies is compacted with mucus, and the COVID-19 is a mucus you know, generating illness, it, 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 it solidifies the mucus in your body. One of the reasons why we are so compacted with mucus is because we are drinking dairy. So guys, I'm telling you these things because health-wise, it's good for you to know. You understand? Substitute dairy with any plant-based milk and you will be doing yourself a great, great benefit. All right? So why why the milk have mucus milk cow's milk especially was created to feed baby cows milk was is what the body creates to feed infants a baby cow however is not 20 pound or 15 pound is almost a ton when in barn so that milk has enough nutrients and whatever is is built to feed a baby cow then the other thing is that cows have four stomach. That's why cow chew the cud, because they have four stomach. If you notice, a cow will never stop chewing. That's the number one thing that a cow does. 
they they eat grass and when there's no grass they sit down and they chew what they're doing they're chewing the cud they're regurgitating the grass from one stomach and put deposit it into the next stomach and it breaks down and breaks down and breaks down until it comes out the back end now the process to to break down all of these things this is sugar she put in just a little sugar to you know accentuate and this is cane sugar right babe yes florida natural cane sugar the, the process by which they eliminate the, 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 the grass and, and break down the grass is, is mucus driven. So the cow body produces excessive amount of mucus in order to facilitate the breaking down of the grass from one stomach to the next. So when you, Mr. Sir and Miss Sir, Miss Ma'am, take a, cow, a glass of freshly made cow's milk, you are introducing those mucus building components into your body. And that's why you have these excessive amount of cough and cold and this thick, nasty stuff coming out of your body. I'm telling you this, guys, because this is something that I really and truly, we as a family had to fight over 15 years now. We stopped drinking milk. We don't drink it no more. My son used to have bronchial infection and them something there. And we him not sick again. And even when we get sick, any flu or anything, you know, natural, normal things, we don't get this, this coughing and excessiveness. We don't get it. We could cough from now till next week. Nothing will come. Nothing come in because our bodies, is, we, we have been, you know, through the ringer with eliminating milk. Also, we limit the general amount of dairy that we, we, we eat. We, I mean, we do have a little cheese every now and then, but we, we generally limit it. So the point I'm making, guys, is number one, I saw this post that even though it's being promoted as a good thing, especially to minorities, milk is not good for you if you are an, a, a black man or a black woman. Don't tell me say you're brown, so if you still can drink it. May I talk about if you're ethnic? It's not good because you, our bodies are predisposed to being lactose intolerant. So even if you don't get sick immediately and vomit like some people do, you still have long-term effects and it is not a good thing. You see me? So, hey, I'm just giving you some information. Yeah, because, you know, we try to do our best by our people. I think you need more sugar. It's okay. No, no, no. It wants something. Yeah, could I use a little bit more sugar? Just a little bit. She want to me, guys. She want to me. No? She want to me with the porridge. And it want to look like salt for you. And you have no crackers? I think it's where I use school crackers now. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, I got a, I got a, a, a big box of ginseng tea. So you know what I drink ginseng every night. Car. We need the strength, Master. We need the muscles. Yeah. That's what I tell you, cuz. Some people are going like them cute around here. You see me? I'm going like them cute. But at the porridge thing me depend right now on my girl. But that me, that me, that's all me I talk about, the porridge. You understand? Can you have me here too long? It's been 30 minutes. And I'm still waiting on the porridge. Anybody else waiting on the porridge? Can we just all in unison agree? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh -huh. We're not toppings, my girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good morning once again, guys. Good morning Good once again. Right. Uh, remember to, to, to like and subscribe to Yardy Belly on Instagram and on Facebook and one true natural on instagram for the wifey thank you for sharing this information to us thank you yes carla patterson blessings to you the food not done yet prayer kid shut it long you understand i mean i understand prayer kid, easy, easy. Shut it long with the parish prayer kid. look up parish look up bulga parish you see me i shall stress we out so so long and the look up parish what about it what about the weight name there the um the um the crackers 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, crackers get up. <laughs> hey, hi, hi. Or the African name said, hi, hey, hey. I never thought, I never thought you would say that. I never thought you would say that at all. I think you would always uh, try to big up the crackers because the crackers is, is uh, quintessential Jamaican. But now you say the crackers is ghetto. What do you mean when you say the crackers ghetto? I don't want to stand you. You you cannot disrespect the crackers like that. Crackers is a good thing. Crackers come, you know, in just in time when we need it. I I in my country we don't do that. Hey, disrespectful. Nah, crackers is ghetto. No. I do not support that at all. Not in my country. All right, guys, look on this. Look on this parija. Cheese and peace. The parija is just beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Oh, the next bowl. Oh, hallelujah. With Joshua. Joshua needs to come to the parija. Oh, Lord. I need some topping. Guys, do you put toppings on your porridges? Um, on your porridge? Let me know, let me know. Let me see my toppings. I have some honey there. I have some, some very nutty mix right there. All right, let me show you my toppings, guys. I have some raw honey from my good friends at Pure Honey, that's um, Clark Family Honey Farm in West Palm Beach. I have some berry nutty mix, and this is from Nature's Garden. And this is just almonds, cashew, um, and some berries like um, cranberry and anything there. What do you think? It's going good? And it's empty, <laughs> but still, <laughs> so you think of an empty crackers bowl? Because you only put it in there when you open it. That don't make no sense. Very much oh, now cricks. Anyone else is open there? Mm -hmm. no. And then I also have anybody remember this this crackers from when it was Lick a Pitney? That is Cricks. And she is dropping some nice um something there, something there on it. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna add some of this. This is totally fresh, you know, guys. I don't know why. Well, I guess, I guess. But the coconut is fresh coconut. It's not the sweet one. So I'm gonna put some of this and then put some of the sweet one. This is your porridge, babe. Okay. This is mine. My porridge have a look nicer than here. Let me just tell you, you don't have to feel no way about it. Don't hurt. Don't feel hurt here. Okay. Don't feel hurt. Okay, I know I love you, right? But I just gotta do what I gotta do for my porridge sake. Guys, look on the porridge and tell me. Look, look on this, guys. Tell me. Which porridge look the best right now? Jeez, I'm um, peace. Watch it. I think my porridge look good already. Look on this one. Look full, full. Look good. Look full, full. Look good. Look like but like old old time people porridge. Like old people. Look like young people porridge. Like young people. I would buy this porridge right here. I would buy this porridge for five or seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just looks so good. I think the people them know already say, you know, my porridge is a classic, you know, just, 
I don't know when did raisin become a classic and peanut. How basic can one get? Raisin and peanut. That's the most basic topping ever. But when you talk about pumpkin seeds and coconut, shaved coconuts and, and all these things, chia seed clusters and all. Yeah. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Give me no say that come with some little bad man. Come on you now. Know. You understand? Because look pump porridge look good. Basic. Bougie. Basic. Joshua, come come drizzle your porridge. Bougie. Yeah? And Joshua didn't do his yet, so. And they made us drizzle with some honey. What is it, man? Cricks. Okay. Yeah, I'll eat some cricks. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat some cricks. But I don't know. Guys, Look how my porridge nice. Let hmm? the boats come in. Is it his porridge, that one? Or my porridge? Maybe I can take one of his red things. Here I know. Watch it. In the middle. Watch it. Tea. Watch it. Yeah, that one red thing in the middle of mine set it off a little bit. Yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Yes! Mm -hmm. My porridge, my porridge looks better than everybody's porridge. I'm just saying. It goes without saying. It's part of the territory. So is it my porridge, you guys, or his basic peanut and... Um, Raisin porridge. Did you put sugar into mine? Yeah, it's it, it has sugar. So I Joshua is oh Joshua is coming now to to top his porridge. Yes, guys, are you ready for Josh? Joshua is putting <laughs> two two Kit Kat. Uh, you know, Joshua just killed the crowd. Joshua porridge, no, no. Joshua no. just killed no, the guys, crowd guys, with two Kit Kat. Talk to me. What's your name? <laughs> what you know? No, no, no Joshua, you're over the. Take a picture before that that melt away. <laughs> yeah, kill the crowd, Joshua. Yeah, kill the crowd. Oh my God. <laughs> Basic, oh my God. but it is it, it over the top. Nah, nah, Joshua, too. Joshua just killed everybody. Everybody dead a while ago with Joshua Parrish. People dead. <laughs> Joshua, just take it to another and, level. And then my porridge next after Joshua one, you know? You got all three together? No, I'm trying, but it's hard because of the spacing. Hold it up. Hi. And I'm seeing the same The people, they're afraid to vote. I'm seeing too much they... things. <laughs> they is afraid them, to No, because they know my porridge win. I mean, just, you, you guys, just, just don't worry about it. You know, just don't make, don't make nobody pressure, you know? You know, <laughs> so guys, we know that this porridge looks, you know, sort of average. Mm. This porridge is crazy with whipped cream and Kit Kat, mm. but the winning porridge, <laughs> you know, raisins, almonds, cashew, and a little bit of peanut with a drizzle of honey. Mm. It's just so hot cuisine. Mm -hmm. eh? And this one is a whimsical, yes, whimsical. Mm. This one is. Old people porridge, yeah. You know? So join us. Old again. people can't chew coconut. Put in your vote, guys. Okay. Put in your vote. Is it porridge number one, porridge number two, uh, or the winner? Really? Porridge number three. I need you in the comments right now. Thank you so much. This is Bulga oatmeal porridge with a numerous toppings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Porridge number one. Over air, so porridge number two. You think my porridge wins? Eh, porridge number what, what, wow, three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh -huh. All right, guys, that's our little quick post for today. We thank you so much for joining us. JB said, so Josh, need to crush it. The, the whipped, whipped cream. cream. Yeah, Josh. Mm. JB said crush another Kit Kat over the whipped cream and sprinkle it. Mm. But JB, otherwise from the whipped cream, don't a mind win. Variety is the spice of life. All three looks good. Chum on, <laughs> Diane Johnson, stop it, man. You just a supporter of the thing. Do you want supporter? <laughs> Cinnamon, nutmeg, and some honey in mine, please. Hold on. Yeah, you should put some pumpkin spice, try. She put pumpkin spice. 
Devana, good morning to you. Prayer kid, you prayer kid knows your mind when I ready. Hmm? Prayer kid knows your mind when I ready. Trust me. Yeah, look, no, look on this. This is so beautiful. I mean, jeez. Um, this Kit Kat one, we get diabetes. <laughs> and this one is for much more people. <laughs> much more people, we eat coconut. Yeah, much more people. Uh, this one is just for healthy, vibrant people, you know, who know what they're doing in life. Mm -hmm. Guys, you see what she do? You see what she do? You see how she, she sabotaged my porridge? She put um, cricks in it. Yeah. All right, guys, we thank you so much for joining us today. On behalf of my my lovely... Wait, wait, not turning her on. My lovely wife and myself and that child there. <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us. Tomorrow is breakfast live, guys. So we have, like we have come good the whole week, we have to come great tomorrow. Our basic. Our basic. <laughs> Big up on herself, yeah? Every crew, everybody. Remember, I tell you, it's a beautiful day. Thank you all for joining us. The Christmas tree has come down. I'm just letting you know it's going to come down by Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hot color lube on down. I put maple syrup straight up. <laughs> <laughs> just kill the it, him just killed the parish a while ago. <laughs> Guys, blessings to you. Thank you for joining us. Have yourself a great day. Remember, live and laugh, cook and eat. Remember, me tell you, I saw the things. Why you mean it don't rhyme? Yeah, me not to rhyme. It's just my own personal mantra. Guys, my mantra is live and laugh, cook and eat. <laughs> is something wrong with that? You leave, please let me know in the comments. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, the stress that I have to go through in this house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this morning I did 10, 12 miles on the stationary bike. And then after that, me and the wife did three miles walking and, you know, parking. I did 500 jump ropes. And she did two jump ropes. <laughs> and then we had some fruits and then we're having our porridge you know so we're good to go yeah and later on later on we just scrounge around so half of the time we don't really cook so i saw the thing set yeah and we did all of this in under an hour because our live usually go for about an hour we try to keep it around an hour unless there's you know excessive reasons to not do an hour but yeah that's what it is joshua is here Anytime um, food I share, in school let out. Absolutely. Anytime food I share, him come out of class. And yeah, and the wife is here. Why is that taller? Him just a get big and long like Papa Tree. Anytime your ear get taller than my head, remember me a chop it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all up. Blessings, guys. Thank you for joining us. Have yourself a great day. Big up on yourself. I remember me telling you. Any comments? No comments? Thank you so much. Have yourself a great day. Variety is the spice of life. All three look good. Please. Mine look good.